Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa, if you guys are new here. Today, we move. Tonight, we move. It is currently 9.10 at night on Friday, October 21st. And my entire apartment is empty, if you can hear like an echo. Um, I'm literally like laying on the floor on my comforter with a blanket and a pillow. Cause I just tried to get like an hour of sleep yeah that didn't go well um you know like when you have a big event or like in high school like a big test like you just can't sleep the night before yeah that's how I feel today just when I try to lay my head down I immediately start thinking about all the things that I need to do when I wake up so anyway that is fun basically I have the last of my things packed. I spent the entire day packing, cleaning my apartment, and getting it prepped to move out. Um, my parents are going down for the trip to Florida. They are going to drive with me. So my parents are driving from home. They're going to drive down with me to Florida and because they just don't want me to drive by myself. So especially with like all of the car issues that I've been having lately, like my dad's gonna come along with just in case anything happens. So basically, my parents are driving to the Philly airport. I'm going to pick them up at the Philly airport and we are going to head right to 95 South to start our drive to Florida. So we'll probably leave from the airport. I've gotta leave here probably around like 11, 11, 15, something like that. Um, and then, my parents, I've got to meet them around like 12, 1230 or I have no idea. We really don't have a plan. So, I am going to take you guys along for this little road trippy and then when we get to Florida or when we move in, we should get to Florida tomorrow. We don't really have a plan, but we'll see. Um, I have a, we're gonna do a birthday dinner for me and my family because um, they won't be able to spend my birthday with me. So we're going to do that on Sunday night. I have a reservation at Ulele because I've always wanted to try there. I haven't tried there yet. So we are going to do that. And then Monday we move in at one o'clock. My parents are leaving early, like 6 a.m. on Monday to head back. They're flying back to PA, but I, I don't need their help moving in because I literally it's just like going to be a few boxes that are in my car and then whatever Chris has in his car but he's already down there so much talking I'm so sorry I'm just trying to give you guys the layout of like the schedule over the next few days so yeah once we get to our apartment I will do an empty apartment tour so that's kind of what this whole vlog is gonna be like but it's going to be over several days several long days so, yeah, it's going to be an exhausting, fun, interesting next few days. So, let's start off the vlog. I'm going to feel like an absolute train hit me tomorrow. I just can already feel it in my body, in my bones, like I'm some old person. All right. Since I can't sleep, the next thing I've got to do is take out all of these boxes to the trash and then we'll start packing up the car. I've honestly got to say, like, it feels weird to be leaving, but like also, I think because I only moved in six months ago, that doesn't really feel that weird. I don't know. I also like have negative attachments to this place like two like things that just have happened within the six months of living here nothing to do with the apartment the apartment complex the people here just personal things that have happened and i'm very affected by space and energy and like i love it here and i'm really sad in a way because i was just starting to get settled and really feeling at home here but at the same time 
I like to, I'm not that sad to be leaving just because I am ready for a fresh start where I can hopefully like, I can have like a better emotional attachment to like wherever I'm at next, but also I'll be leaving there. So maybe it's best if I don't have an emotional attachment to it because I know that I'll be leaving to come back here in May or April of next year. So I don't know, whatever happens, happens, but I'm just hoping for turning a new leaf, basically. I just wanna turn a new leaf with this next place and with this move overall, if you know what I mean. All right, my parents are on their way down to the airport. They're still quite a distance away though. And I'm so tired. So I'm gonna get all my stuff out of here. I'm almost all finished. And then I'm going to head down to like one of the um, communal areas like for the office spaces. And I'm going to like lay down on the couch or lay down on a chair. I'm so tired. <laughs> let me show you guys what everything is looking like this is like the last of everything and then i just have my two bags here completely empty so crazy closets are all empty Bathroom all empty. Yeah. One of the girls that I became friends with in my apartment got me some duck donuts. I'm like so tempted. I'm like so tempted to eat them right now. Look at how good these look. Here, let me. I don't want to make a mess, but look at how freaking good these look. Okay, now this is actually becoming bittersweet, but I truly believe that this is going to be like a happy new beginning. So can't be that mad about it, but one last goodbye. <laughs> so weird. All right, y'all. We are at the Philly airport. I am just waiting for my parents to park and shuttle over to departing flights. We figured that was like the easiest way for me to pick them up without me having to like pay for parking um to like just pick them up basically because they're keeping their car here overnight i have to pee so bad uh but i don't want to leave my car out here obviously while i go inside to pee so I'm, I'm gonna have to wait i'm gonna have to hold it until they get here um so it is currently 12 oh wait my dad called me oops Hi, you reached David. Classic. Yes, we, we cannot find parking. It keeps striking us out and around. I we just don't know how to find it. Or why don't you go to a hotel? Why don't you go to a hotel parking? Okay, and then we can go in the lobby there and go to the bathroom and yeah. get a shuttle over. Yeah, and it will be okay. so much easier. We might have to fidget around with the stuff in the back a little bit, so... And I can actually put something in your car, which would be great. Uh, okay. All right. There's cars behind you. Yeah. All right. I'll see you there. Bye. All right. First sh show of the day. To the Sheraton we go. <laughs> 
All right, guys, it's currently, I look dead, because I am. It's currently 3.35, and we are around Richmond, Virginia, I think. We're in, we are in Virginia, confirmed. I'm pretty sure we're around Richmond, Virginia. We found a Wawa. We are stopping to fill up our tank. I still had about like 140 miles left to go with my tank, but we're stopping for our first tank fill up. Stopping to pee, switch drivers, stretch out. And yeah, I've been doing really, really well for the fact that I haven't slept, but I'm going to take a nap. I think my dad's gonna drive. We're gonna, we're doing well. If we like keep going, like we're gonna stop for breakfast for sure. We're past DC traffic. Virginia's gonna be a bitch to get through because it takes forever, but in the morning we're gonna stop and get a big breakfast. Probably that will be our longest stop, I imagine. And I, I'm going to assume right now we probably will get to Tampa anywhere from like 6 p.m. to like 10 p.m. at the latest, and that's like stretching it. But right now my GPS is saying we'd get there at like 4.30 if we just kept going through. I'm in my little cocoon here. I've just been sleeping. I haven't slept in 24 hours. So, right? Yeah, I haven't slept in 24 hours. So whatever sleep I'm getting in the car right now is like my first sleep in 24 hours, basically. <laughs> so, it feels... Although, so although it's in a car, it, like, just, it feels good, you know? But I just checked, and we are in North Carolina. Which is so exciting! We got through Virginia. My freaking poor dad. He drove all through Virginia. Um, when did he start driving? He started driving at, like, 4.30 or something like that? Or, like, 3 something? Whenever we were at Wawa, he started driving, and now we are, I think this is our third stop, but we're just at a rest stop. They just need to pee. Um, it is currently 6.42. The sun will be rising really, really soon, and my mom's going to take over driving for a little bit. I'm going to catch up on a little bit more sleep, and then... When the sun comes up, we probably will stop for breakfast. I'll likely drive after breakfast. So it's like good. We're making good timing. We're rotating. Everything is going really, really well. So this was just like the hardest part for sure. Um, but now that the sun will come up and like our goal. Oh my God. Everything is going. Oh my God. No, I can't say that. No, I can't say that. <laughs> I can't say that, but, like, our goal originally was to get to, like, if we got to South Carolina, that would be incredible. That would be incredible for timing. So, we'll probably drive, I don't know, it doesn't seem like it will take long to drive through North Carolina. We'll drive, we'll get to South Carolina, I imagine we'll, like, likely eat in South Carolina or Georgia. Not the lights. Huh? Hey y'all, we are in, where are we? South Carolina? Uh, we're South Carolina, South yeah. Carolina. We just got done eating at the good old Cracker Barrel. The cracker, the old cracker. What time is it, like nine? Wow, it's getting late. Nine o'clock, we have three more states, or two more states. How many more states? <laughs> oh, we still have a, a long ways to go though, so updates to come. It's now going to be my turn to drive. But first, first we're gonna get a little Starbies, Mom. I'm the driver now. <laughs> Is there one right around the corner? Yeah. Okay. We came to Starbies. Right, Mom? Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the 
the last time that I checked in, we were at Cracker Barrel, and turns out that was actually in North Carolina still. We are now in South Carolina. So, we still got a ways to go. I'm driving, things are going well. We just stopped for our second tank of gas. So that's pretty impressive. We should get to Florida with no problem and then might have to fuel up again in Florida. But like, that's pretty impressive. I'm shocked. I'm gonna clean them all up when I'm, when I'm done. I gotta sample my This sample. guy's license yeah. plate is Dr. Slay. <laughs> I know. Chick-fil-A stop. I think I'm gonna do French toast. Ready for it to be over. Last stop, right? Don't you think this would be the last stop? Oh, I certainly hope so. <laughs> I think we're about like, what, an hour and 20 out? Yeah. Yeah. About a hundred and some miles. An hour like and 20 19 out. 19 or something like that. We are almost there. We made it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> With my water. Cheers. 17 hours later probably, I don't even know how long. We are eating good. Dad is especially eating good. We got some rolls with the cinnamon. We're at Cody's, by the way. I don't know where the sign is at, but we're at Cody's. It's also kind of bright. Hello everyone. We are obviously in Tampa now and my parents are checked into an Airbnb and I'm staying with Chris at his place that he had last year. The rooster. Um, we're gonna head out soon, but it's so, so nice out right now. It's so nice. I can get, I can get used to this for a little bit, but we're gonna head out, go get some coffee, maybe something light. Um, and then, just do some casual things today. I think I have to run a few errands before I check into my, or move into my apartment tomorrow. And then we're gonna get Chris after he's done working. And because my parents won't be able to do anything with me for my birthday this year, we're gonna do like an early birthday dinner celebration tonight and head to Clearwater probably. So I might vlog a little bit of today, but mainly we'll pick up the vlog tomorrow, likely, when we actually are moving in. Sun's right in my eyes. Look at this drink. Oh, sorry, Mom. I didn't know you were yeah. moving it. This is the alcoholic version. I got the non-alcoholic. <laughs> Good morning. I got a coffee at Buddy Brew, which is where I would always go last time. Not my, not necessarily my favorite coffee, but um, I just like the vibes of the cafes um, for working. So I came to Armature Works. It's kind of like a more chill area, I feel like. Easier to get to, not like in the city really. So I came over here to get coffee at Armature Works. I'm going to do some work for the next several hours. And then um, today's moving day. So my or our move-in time is at one o'clock. Chris isn't gonna move in until later because he has like a golf outing at two o'clock. So he'll move in when he gets home from that. But I'm gonna move in my stuff, basically what I have in my car, um, around one o'clock. So I'm just going to do some work here until then. And I'll show you guys the empty apartment tour then. I just got to my apartment. It is one o'clock right on the dot, which is move-in time. Um, basically any time after 1 p.m. So, let's do it. Chris is obviously not here. I think I said that he's moving in later. <clears throat> so, let's go do it. 
Oh my gosh! Straight up view of the pool too. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, I was not expecting this. I had no idea what it was gonna look like. Okay. Damn, nice size bed. Oh, I hate though that we are on the first floor right by the pool because then I will literally have to keep my windows closed, but I'd rather that than move in late. Nice walk-in closets. And they even like did the sweeping and all that. Full length mirror in here, okay. Oh my God, so nice. This is so exciting. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Oh wow, I was not expecting that. Love. Okay, sis. Damn. Oh, okay. I thought that was gonna be storage, but that is not. <laughs> Smells like a Florida home in here, if you know what that means. I don't know. Smells like a Florida home for sure. Oh my God, wait, that is so cute. <laughs> okay, love. Little coat closets. Kitchen. This will be nice, like with the lighting. And then we have over here, washer and dryer. That's nice that they have that. Very, very nice. Okay. And then out here is our little porch, as you can see. So I'll have like a mini table and chairs out here, which will be nice. Hey, y'all. So it's been a week since I picked up the camera. I left it off with the empty apartment tour um, and then I got straight to unpacking, settling in, things like that. So I am just finishing editing th that video now. Updates as of today, I just received an update that our furniture should be arriving on Wednesday, November 2nd. So when this video goes up, our furniture should be here. And also when I moved in last week, we ordered a new couch and that actually should be here on Wednesday as well, which is impeccable timing. Um, and I started vlogging the movers when they were moving out of my apartment in Phoenixville. So I'm going to pick up that vlog again on Wednesday when they come back. So lots of things happening, um, but exciting things. And then I will start to show you guys more of the apartment, what I've done. We got a new bed that I just finished building this past weekend. Um, and yeah, I'm just loving it here. I'm loving the the lifestyle here so far. So exciting things. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. I will see you guys next time for the last and final moving vlog.